right, there, there it is, your quick little five second instrumental to kick off another rap analysis video we are doing, if you couldn't see, from the title, Lloyd Banks featuring Eminem, Where I'm At, and um, I know you may think it's strange, why did I pick this song? I mean, there's so many other Lloyd Banks songs, so many Eminem songs. I did one Eminem song with special guest uh, Eddie Osborne when he picked the uh, Patiently Waiting song. But there's a reason I picked this song. It was strategic. This song was really instrumental to me as far as it's the ultimate, for me, relationship revenge song. When you go through a breakup, man, these two artists here, Lloyd Banks and Eminem, um, they really put it into perspective from their point of view, from a male point of view and their experiences. But I feel like females could also relate. Uh, you could just switch a couple of the lines around and it, it would be just fine for a girl that uh, is going through the same situation as well. Or anyone, any gender or any of that kind of stuff. And um, I just love it. It's so thoughtful. It really, to me, was what focused... Because I'm such a positive person, so it's like, to me, there's a lot of lines in here about, like, success is the best revenge to pay you back and that stuff. And... And it's weird, too, because I know Eminem's spoken in the past on some of his relationships, like, with Kim and, like, Mariah Carey and stuff. But I feel like this is his most, his deepest song on that subject, as far as uh, showing his vulnerable side and whatnot. And he never says who he's talking about, so that makes me think that this was actually a real thing. He's not just using it to, 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 to name drop someone to get his views. And also, I feel Lloyd Banks is talking about something in real life as well. Maybe not. Maybe they're just doing a good job of like viewing it through somebody else's eyes or experiences. But yeah, so this song really motivated, especially at the time it came out. Uh, we'll get into that. This was released on Lloyd Banks' third studio album, which was titled The Hunger for More Part 2, which released November 22nd, 2010 on G-Unit Records and EMI. This was not on the actual 13-track album. Um, he did a bunch of bonus tracks. He had some for like, uh, like iTunes. I think I believe this was one of the iTunes bonus tracks. It was counted as track number fifteen on the iTunes. But they had also bonus tracks that were released just overseas and uh, for other platforms like that. But I believe this was considered an iTunes bonus track, and so it kind of fell out of the radar. Like I didn't hear a lot of people talking about it as much. I actually one of my uh, favorite people to talk rap music with, Joey Allen, when I played this song for him, uh, he said he had never even heard it. And uh, so it was produced, uh, according to the uh, like the Wikipedia thing, it was produced by Boy Wanda, who everybody is, or a lot of people familiar with him, he's, done a, he's had a lot of hits over the years, and Matthew Burnett, who I've not heard of. And I feel like this is a song, uh, Eminem starts it off, and it feels like it's an Eminem song, even though it's on Lloyd Banks' album, and I feel like maybe he just didn't have a second verse, and he just gifted at, uh, Lloyd Banks with this. And uh, they, there was even a little funny skit on YouTube about how uh, 50 Cent and Eminem pranked Lloyd Banks about how uh, they heard that he didn't want Eminem on the album or something like that, and Lloyd Banks is, does not know what's going on. But yeah, for me personally... Uh, I've gone through my few uh, few uh, relationships, and this really helped me to be, like, the bigger person and not harp on it too long. I mean, just because, like, when you start a family and you, uh, you know, you have all these plans and then it goes sour for some reason and you don't feel like it's your fault or anything like that you've done, it can still be hard. Uh, and uh, I won't get into my own personal life too much there, but I do really relate to this song. So uh, let's get into it. If you've watched any of my analysis videos, I don't react to it. I don't just play it and go, oh, oh my god, oh, or whatever, like the Home Alone kid. I've listened to this song tons of times. Like, I used to listen to this on repeat and also rap along in the mirror to it. Um, and then they finally came out with uh, that lyric video, which I really liked. But the lyric sites seem to have it on. I think I'm on A to Z lyrics on this. Yes, A to Z lyrics on this one. But I know this song pretty much word for word, probably 98% of it. And I could sing it even without the beat. Like if the song's playing karaoke, do it. But I'm just going to read through it. I'm going to try and flow through it. And then I'm just going to comment on the lines that I think is the best. It's not a reaction or review video. I, I analyze the song, tell you all the stuff that I just told you and why it's important to me. And then hopefully uh, people can also comment in the comment sections about 
their own feelings on the song as well and what other songs from Lloyd Banks and Eminem they would like me to choose in the future. But yeah, and I'm trying not to always pick, um, if you watch, this is what, like my 19th video, I try not to always pick like the singles or the most popular songs. I try and get songs that I felt, some of them are, are uh, classics and everybody's heard of them, but for the people that haven't, the songs I pick are the ones that I wish more people would know about, even if a lot of people do know about it, but I still want it. And the, the ones that are really meaningful for me as well. So enough about me. Let's do it. So Eminem starts it off, and uh, the beat is really good. Uh, I just played a little bit of it, but it's like got this like this almost like heavenly angel an angelic sound at the beginning, and then the drum. It really it really kicks in nice. I probably did a brutal job of that. So Eminem starts. He's like, Yeah, you got me. I'm up now. It's your loss. Must suck to be you. And so they're both talking about uh, female relationships that they had that I believe they're both no longer in at this point, the way this song makes it seem. So Eminem comes in, he goes, History is like a quarter note delay. It keeps repeating itself. And what else can I say? You're wondering why I act this way. I never should have gave you the time of day. Guess you know what, excuse me, guess you know what time it is now, eh? I love how you use the old Canadian A to make it rhyme, it's kind of, but it's just like a talking intro, but I disagree um, when he says I never should have gave you the time of day, because I try and not have any regrets in life, so whatever happened, I feel like it was meant to be at least, and you learn from it, but most of the other stuff really hits home for me, especially this first line, oh my god. There must have been a gust of wind, cause you change your mind every time it blows, and you just change it a motherfucking again, cause it's so funny. Oh my, I can, I'm not gonna go into it, but yes, I've had, uh, I've dated people that change their mind a lot, like mid sentence even, and I love how he says you just change it again before he's like even finished talking about how her <laughs> she changes her line. You just said you just wanted some dick before I stuck it in. I wouldn't have been such a prick to you. Fucking men, you say you don't trust them. Why do I hear the sound of toilets flushing? Some shit is going down. You must have just not been truthful from the start. See, for me, it'd be nothing to say you never had my heart, but I'd be lying. Which, that's what I love about how he's he's vulnerable in this. He's like, admit, he's not going to lie and beat around and say that he wasn't in love and all that stuff. Fucking see why they call this bullshit a relationship. Because ships sink. And you know it's love as soon as you fall in it, because shit stinks. And it feels like every fucking time I do, I get jinxed. Cube must have put a curse on me. Six weeks. Uh, I love that, though. I love what they call it. I've never heard that line before. Bullshit. A it's called a relationship. Bullshit a relationship. Because ships sink. That's so good. And you know it's love is when you fall in it because the shit stinks. Okay, six weeks have went by and we only spoke twice. I'm sitting in your driveway calling you from the car. Suffice, I think it's safe to say you're not at home. I'm calling your cell phone, you answer, but I can tell, though, that you're not alone. And that seems to happen with a lot of my people that I'm friends with or co-workers with. A lot of times you know it's pretty much over, but it's like you're kind of hanging on and you're like, you're willing to fight and maybe make another, uh, work it out and that kind of stuff, but you just have that feeling like, oh no. Okay, you get, how was I to know? How was I to know? It should have been time to go a long time ago. I kept old, holding on. It's comical. When I think back now, why I couldn't get the hint. I'd feel the draft you were throwing. I wasn't catching your drift. It's so good. Like, he wasn't picking up on the signs. And it's comical now, looking back on it, how, like, foolish he was for not picking up on the signs. But there's a cold breeze blowing over me. I'm over you. Success is the best revenge to pay you back. And that payment is overdue. I overcame odds to get even. The sober me is shitting all over the unsober you. And I hope they play this at every club that you're going to. I'm haunting you, bitch. Everywhere you turn, I'm following you. Because I loved you with every ounce of me. You know it's true. It's killing you now. Yeah, I hope the whole die is slowing you. I love it because he's like going from like... He's like reminiscing and then he's like... He's really speaking his true feelings here. Uh, Eminem never holds back, but it's usually he's usually so much more aggressive. And to me, it's almost like he's playing the victim for once, a little bit. And um, okay, it's because of you. Now I don't trust him at all. Fuck him, middle finger up. I'ma just keep grabbing my balls, cup and I'll never fall again. I trip on stairs, I fall up him. So Buttercup, don't try to come back knocking on my door, all dolled up. 
and then they go into the chorus, or he, he goes into the chorus, and uh, it's so great. I love this. I just really um, couldn't think of it a better way. If I wanted to write a song like this, I wish I could have came up with this. Because I'm moving on, don't worry about me. And this is the one where it's like, not. it doesn't matter what gender you are. This can hit home for anybody. And it's good. Like You need to move on. You can't keep harping on the past. You need to move forward and push forward with your own life. And that's when things start coming up better for you. Unless you're sitting around doing nothing about it. So, Because I'm moving on, don't worry about me. Because I'm going to be fine. Just Because I'm going to be just fine without you. You'll see. There ain't no one on this earth right now. I'd much rather be. Because God damn it, I'm glad that I'm me. And I used to keep saying that over and over to myself. Like, this song, I was it came at a perfect time. I felt like when it came out, it was meant for me. I was like, man, they're really speaking to me here. Uh, so, because I'm moving on, don't worry about me, because I'm going to be just fine without you. You'll see, there ain't no one on this earth right now would much rather be, because God damn it, I'm glad that I'm me. I said, if you could be where I'm at, and then I like, you'd want to be you too. If you felt the way I feel, I bet you'd be in as good as mood as I am, but you don't because you just feel like you. I said, if you could be where I'm at, you'd want to be you too. If you felt the way I feel, I bet you'd be in as good as mood as I am, but you don't because just because you just feel like you. And for me, like, rapping this song over and over, it's almost like uh, fake it till you make it. Like, it's almost like you say it enough times, you start to believe it. And then everybody says Eminem always kills anybody he's ever on a song with. And that may be the case. Let me know in the comments who you think had the best verse. Um, I can't pick. I love them. Lloyd Banks, I actually like better than Eminem. There's probably more Eminem songs that I like better than Lloyd Banks just because he has a, a humongous catalog compared to Lloyd Banks. But Lloyd Banks is one of my favorite rappers of all time. He, When he came out... I had this first uh, 50 Cent CD called Guess Who's Back, and it wasn't an actual official CD, but he tricked them, and they still thought he was signed to a record label, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it, it was in the HMV store in Canada, and I picked it up, and there was a song, I believe it was track four, that was the first time I ever heard G-Unit, which was Lloyd Banks and Tony Ayo, and it was just called G-Unit G -Unit Anthem, That's What's Up, and Lloyd Banks' verse... And then I started looking him up and I heard like that Victory remix and oh my god. So for me it's tied. I can't pick. I like these because Eminem's verse is so awesome. And then I feel like Lloyd Banks holds his own neck and neck. Like there's, if you were a, a judge in like a boxing match or a UFC match, I this would be a tough one. For me. But like, may, some people might think Eminem destroyed him or the other way around. Oh, so anyway, here comes Lloyd Banks. Oh, I've had it for the last time. Your actions got me hot as my last rhyme. Your options are leave or put out. Granted, your ass fine, but fine just ain't go cut it. Drama's what you're in love with. You and them bitches you run with. Lately, I'm feeling smothered. You snooped around for dirt to be uncovered. Conceited with cover girl motives, I gotta rise above it. You thinking about who's loving me. I'm thinking about who doesn't. Doesn't really matter what you say. Sickness in my stomach. Told you I was gonna be split and you don't think I mean it. Left you with everything that I got. Fuck you. Ain't no secret. No apologies. You keep it. Now I'm doing my thing and you peep it. The batter times all outweigh the recent. Your energy, who needs it? Every rumor you hear, you're gonna believe it. Point out the times you've seen it. You stabbed me, should have leaned it. Revenge is mine, I need it. Need a way out. It's my fucking life. Let her find a way to stay out. Bet you thought I'd break it. Ain't that easy. Bet you thought I'd need you a million times before you need me. Leave me everything that I gave to you. Ain't no freebies. Get your coat and go. The female Pinocchio. Money hungry, hopeless hoe. You fucking with my focus, so go back to that chump that played the role before. Love is like a cancer when you don't let go. I'm a blow for show. Unnecessary weight makes the boat go slow. I don't need you sinking us. Hope you float. Lying through my teeth, I hope you don't. Drown, drown. Now to sound out how to... Oh, sorry. Not a sound out of her be dope. Bottles pop up while we smoke. Hate we met, proud that we broke. Let them girls crowd of me go. If they got something to show, let them show me. I don't love them, never lonely, never even left a scar. You fell hard, I'm laughing. Ha 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 ha. Tire smoke, fancy car. Nothing is what we are. No beginning, no tomorrow. The only uh, line in this whole lyric site that I'm not sure of, when he says... Um, I don't need you sinking us, hope you float, lying through my teeth, I hope you don't drown, drown. And then it sounds here, says here, not a sound out her be dope. I thought he said now the sound of that be dope, but I'm not sure on that. So let me know in the comments or if I butchered anything else. 
uh, Lloyd Banks has got that hard, uh, really, like, asthma-sounding voice where it's like he can barely breathe sometimes. So, he's, so I try to do it as, like, articulate the words as well as I possibly can. And then him and Eminem do the chorus together. Because I'm moving on, don't worry about me, I'm going to be fine without you, you'll see. There ain't no one on this earth I'd much rather be, because God damn it, I'm glad that I'm me. And uh, if you could be where I'm at, you'd want to be you too. If you felt the way I feel, I bet you'd be in as good as mood as I am, but you don't because you just feel like you. Said if you could be where I'm at, you'd want to be you too. And then they say that all again. Um, I didn't really stop for the Lloyd Banks, so I just a couple lines I just wanted to point out. I love when he says, your actions got me hot as my last rhyme. Because it's so, like, he could still throw a braggadocious punchline in in a song about the females. I love that. And then, um, or, your options are leave or get put, or, your options are leave or put out. Granted, you're as fine, but fine just ain't go cut it. Like, it doesn't matter. You need a personality, too. It doesn't matter how good-looking you are. You know, he's not going to put up with it. Drama's what you're in love with. These are lines that really stand out to me. You and the bitches you run with. Um... Uh, with your motives, I gotta rise above it. And you thinking about who's loving me, I'm thinking about who doesn't. Like, it seems like I've been in that, like, the jealousy type relationships where they're always worried about who you're talking to and who likes you. And it's like, well, everyone likes me, don't they? Isn't that why you're with me, right? So, um, some really well thought out things here by Banks. Um, and it's like, it, it's cool how it flip-flopped too. Like, in the way he talks about it, it's like, at first, it was probably her always threatening to leave. Now he's like, he, st he says, I was going to be splitting and you don't think I mean it. Um, and then it's like, now, like, when he was down in times where things weren't going well for him, then it was like she was threatening to leave. That's what I'm taking from this. And now it's like, now that I'm doing my thing and you peep it, all the batter times all away the recent. Um, so it's like, every rumor you hear, you're going to believe it. Um, point out the times you've seen it. So it's like... You know, it's just a jealousy for sure. Um, and I love this one. <clears throat> Bet you thought I'd break. It ain't that easy. Bet you thought I'd need you a million times before you need me. It's obviously like he felt like he was just took it for granted. And that, um, you know, that he would just come crawling back on his hands and knees. But now it's turning into kind of the other way around. And, and then obviously, ain't no freebies. Get your coat and go. The female Pinocchio. Money hungry, hopeless ho. Oh, and go back to the chump that played the role before. And then this is such a good line, uh, just for anything in life. It should be like those one of those things on the wall, live, love, laugh. Unnecessary weight makes the boat go slow. I don't need you sinking us, hope you float. So it's like, th throw all unnecessary weight off, right? Like, you know, it's, if it's slowing you down, then uh, you got to stay in that fast lane and, and hit your goals. So th that's uh, one of my favorite songs ever. I hope you enjoyed the analysis, and I hope maybe this is a song that you liked too. And I hope you're liking this formula. I'm just trying to be different. I'm not trying to do this and, oh, first time reacting. Like, eh, some of those videos are good. I'm not saying that. But a lot of times you can tell that they've heard it before. Or it's like they're just listening to the song. Like, well, I could just listen to the song. So, like, I try and, like, point out some facts to you or things that maybe you missed. Like, some of the, this one's a really straightforward song. There's not a lot of, like, double entendros and innuendos and that kind of stuff where it like, could be taken different ways. Um, and, and also some of the slang. This slang is not so heavy in this song, so sometimes I try and dissect it with, uh, with my viewers. This one didn't really need a lot of that, but just let me know what you like and what you don't like about these analysis videos because I want to keep doing them and I want to get better at doing them and hopefully uh, give you guys something that you can enjoy watching. But that's all for this time. We'll see you next time on Rap Analysis.